and good afternoon it's 5 30 in the afternoon it's saturday the 11th of october 2014 i'm actually in the office it's just a different perspective it's mercury retrograde okay so as an astrologer i've learned over the years you can't fight it you just have to flow with it all my technology with youtube screwed up uh, i've always been a windows guy so i'm now using mac technology you just got to go with it. Mercury's retrograde. It's just changed sign. It's just moved back into Libra. And you can choose to be upset around all the technological breakdowns and the communication difficulties and the lack of clarity. And you can get impatient and frustrated because there's a hell of a lot of Uranian energy around at the moment. Or you can flow with it. All right. You can just dance take each thing as it comes take it on the chin and just see yourself as lightly surfing over this the less attached you are to what's going on around you almost to a point of indifference over the coming few weeks the happier i'm going to be uh, i've been doing so many readings for individuals at the moment that are clear patterns are shaping up and um it does seem really that the period from now through to the middle of November, the next four weeks, is a time of rapid concentrated change at the very cutting edge. And I do expect big developments, of which more later. This will then be replicated over a period of early March through to late mid April, which is truly the end of this cycle of basically of the Uranus Pluto square. <sighs> and it's Mercury retrograde, and we're not gonna make any sense of what's going on at all at the moment. So, like I said, surf it. Now, I've got this private theory, which is me putting a little bit of spin on myself, and possibly on the world as well, but I've got this private theory that Mercury retrogrades don't apply to astrologers. I was, I'm not born with a Mercury retrograde. I don't know many, if any, astrologers, well, I know a couple of astrologers who are, but I was born with a really strong Mercury. And yet, over the years, I've slowly, almost begrudgingly, come to the realization that actually I can operate in certain ways, especially ways connected with astrology on a Mercury retrograde, that I can't when Mercury's going forward. So I do occasionally sneak a little bit of my own stuff in, in this slide. Now you're going to love this. I've got some news around my book. I've got the first proof copy through today for me to proof for corrections. And it's on schedule. I'll be releasing it to the general public in about one month from now. But you're going to like this. This is classic Mercury retrograde. Because Mercury's retrograde, I'm using different technology that I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with. I'm just playing. So I, I haven't got this mirror imagery right. So here's my new book. You're going to like this. All right. It actually says, The Law of Pluto, Reshaping the Void. Okay. This will be out in about a month. I just find it hilarious that everything's backwards and I can't see what's going, can't see it properly. Classic Mercury retrograde. As we speak, the moon has just changed sign. As I speak, the moon has moved into Gemini perhaps half an hour ago and theoretically, the next 24 to 48 hours should be quite a stimulating time. There won't be any of this long void moon stuff we've been having recently mainly because Mercury's moved into the end of Libra. So I think that the, this coming weekend should be actually quite an active and dynamic time. And it's a chance to sort of make short, sudden jumps forward, okay? So tomorrow, Sunday, all day Monday, yeah, good day for being a little bit more, not so much pushy or projective, because it is Mercury retrograde, but Look at Gemini in your chart. Look at the area, look at the house that it's in. And you should find that if you're just a little bit more proactive over the coming 48 hours, you might actually be able to achieve some surprising results. Nice one. All right, catch you in the morning. Sweet dreams. Good night.